it's um oh I don't know how you can see it's 11 o'clock at night um I was about to play my guitar when I realized that I didn't have a slide because I play in the slide guitar these days I um, don't know what you know what that is. You, you put a slide um, a glass or a brass or steel on your finger and you slide it along the frets and it gives you a nice sound. Well, I like it. So I broke them. They both, I had two glass ones and they both broke yesterday. I think the washing machine, they was on the shelf and the washing machine was going and the vibration because I live in this wooden wagon thing the vibration of the washing machine <laughs> um, vibrated them off the shelf and onto the tiled area where the where the uh, wood burning stove is and uh, they both smashed it did for both of them um, yeah and but today I happen to be in here actually and I found these they are do you know what they are they're for greasing greasing your nipples <laughs> on your motor vehicle or whatever or, or in machinery they're grease grease guns I suppose and I thought that well that looks like a perfect shape for a, a guitar slide my little pinky would fit in there and that my ring finger would fit in there so I'm going to although they're antiques I suspect probably I don't know but early days of motoring 19 20s 30s or even before um, this one is damaged at the bottom cracked all cracked so I'm going to I'm going to use this I'm going to cut it down and see if it'll do for a uh, guitar slide you can see how, how they work they go like that's what you do and the grease, there's not enough in this one. The grease comes out at the end, goes onto a little nipple thing on the bit of machinery you're, you're greasing, does the job. But this one, this bit part of it is split, so it's um, not worth repairing. And I've got another one that does work. <coughs> I should keep the shaft bit there because that can be interchangeable. You know, that's my little project. I'm going to just do that now. I'm going to take this horrible sticky thing out of here. And we'll get. It's going to be a, it's going to be a messy job. So I've got to get the grease out. See, look, hundred year old grease. Well, I suspect it might have been used since then. Uh, so that, that goes to one side. This this comes off. I'll keep that bit for the other can in, interchange with the other one. Some more grease here. Put that there like that. Ah, lovely jubbly. Get as much as I can out. Yeah. 
That's it. Oh, I wish I had some more cloth. Oh, I don't get prepared properly, do I? I've got loads of old rags, but they're in the other shed. So, um, ah, no, oh, that's a glove. Um, I must go and I'll need to, I'll need a, some rag. So, um, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. <laughs> Won't be a minute. Right, I'm back. Just get rid of that. Better not put it on that box. That's a repair job I'm doing. Yeah, so some of this. See, it's a bit ripe. So uh, I haven't taken it off of anyone's bed. So, I think, <laughs> should I put my finger in that greasy blooming thing? Let's clean it out a bit. There goes the train. I like the sound of the trains. Comforting, I don't know why. See, that, that was one of my other jobs, you know. I was a guard on the trains. This was in, in the 1970s. Late 70s. I, that's another job. Didn't last very long. I, uh, I liked it, but uh, it didn't keep you busy enough. And uh, I was, I went through a, a bout of depression. I think, well, I think I had some kind of breakdown. Uh, so I went back after that. I went back after the railway. But um, I didn't go back as a guard. Um, I went back as just as just a railway, which was quite nice. I used to walk up and down, up and down this line actually, outside here. I used to, you know, we used to actually put oil in the signal lamps even in the seventies. So I had to replenish them. And yeah, it was quite a nice job, but like most things with me, it all came to an abrupt end, mainly to do with me being an idiot. But. Uh, since since those days of course I've learned why I behaved why I learned why I got so depressed and, and why I behaved in such a stupid manner that used to get me in all sorts of scrapes. But anyway, that's another story to tell you one day. But uh, I'm fine now. At the moment I'm just great. I uh, think that my motorbike, believe it or not, my motorbike it just makes me feel so good. You can't get depressed on a motorbike. You've got to concentrate on what you're doing. I don't know if you can see. I'm just actually putting this into the into the vice. I put a bit of cloth around it, and uh, I don't want to go too tight. I don't want to flatten it. So uh, hacksaw. A nice old hacksaw. I don't know if the blades are. I'm going to cut there. Um, hope it'll go through. Oh, better get it tight enough. I think maybe that cloth is stopping it from gripping. I can always, always sort that out later. Oh, we've got. There's a little ridge there. I don't really want that, so I'll cut it at that ridge. 
and that can, that I won't cut that. It can be the top, that threaded bit. See, when I put on the slide guitarist um, Facebook group about it, quite a few people said that would be too thin, but it's certainly not. It's not that thin. I think that'll do. Maybe they were thinking of a more modern, more modern sort of grease gun, but this was made in the days when we had real craftsmen making real stuff, proper, proper stuff. That's why it's lasted a hundred years. Now I'm going to try and cut that off now there. I don't want to fail at this because I fail at most projects I've shown you so far. Oh, please let this one be a success. I think it will work. I don't know what the sound will be like. I've never used a brass slide before. Apparently they're quite good. It could do with a bit of a clean, couldn't it? <laughs> Get that little sharp edge off well, I don't want to cut my delicate little fingers that's um, the, the finest emery cloth is like rubbing it with a bit of paper A bit sharp, a little bit sharp. Somewhere in here, I've got a great big sheet of um, uh, a big roll of nice strong emery cloth. But, uh, ah, I can see it, it's down the other end there. I can get past this Heath Robinson lighting setup, and that easel, health and safety. They'd have a nightmare if they came here. Uh, right. I'm back. That's what I was looking for. A little bit, a little bit tougher. Just bear with me. Where are we going? I'm going to go and give it a try in a minute. Some enchanted evening, you may see a stranger, you may see a stranger across a crowded room, and somehow you know, you know even then, that someday you'll see her again, again. Did you know I could sing? You get it all on this uh, on this uh, YouTube channel, mate. Now, see if I can just <laughs> give it a bit of a rub off like that. I 
I've got some fine wire wall as, as well. But, oh, I'm just hopeless at organising things. Where on earth that would be, I do not know. It's in here somewhere. I've got, it might be in that drawer down over there, but I, I'm not going to go and look because I'm successfully, successfully doing it like this. Well, you see smooth stuff. Well, it might not work. You know, some people were a bit doubtful that it would work, but it might work. You never know until you try these things. And uh, I've saved myself a few quid doing this if it does work. You know, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not an, an aficionado slide guitar player. In fact, I'm pretty rubbish, but I play it mainly for my own sort of quiet pleasure. Just cleaning up the final bit of grease. A bit. It's still dirty in there. Did you um, like my singing just then? That was from South Pacific. I uh, actually appeared in South Pacific once on in the um, Bogner Amateur Operatic Society. I played um, Lieutenant Buzz. Oh, I can't remember his surname. Buzz. Buzz something or other. It was on for, I think it was on for three nights. Um, I got my, <laughs> I forgot my lines every night. Someone next to me had to tell me what my lines were. I had to say something like, um, well, so we'd been out. We'd been out about three hours. It was still dark, I know. This is my American accent. I used to get told off for talking too quick in my American accent because Lieutenant Buzz Adams, that's his name, I think, he was uh, from Southern America and he he talked with a slow draw. So I had to try and do that and try and remember to do it my slow drawl, slow accent and the lines and being nervous. Um, so I got it wrong all the time. It's your own fault. I wanted to be the lead, the lead because he sang uh, all the nice songs. Younger than springtime am I. you got to remember I was young then. I had a much nicer voice. And um, anyway, I didn't get that part. I got Buzz Adams. I think his name was Buzz Adams. It might have been Buzz Lightyear. That seemed to ring a bell. Although that could be Toy Story. Yeah, so um, I forgot my line three nights in a row. And uh, the whole thing was a complete success. <laughs> in the next production I was behind the scenes I was a stagehand I don't know why yeah so there you are I've made a brass slider for my guitar it fits quite good it might get stuck if I pushed it down any further on that finger but I don't I put it on the little finger anyway and now I'm going to go off and uh, see if it works uh, you can come with me See you in a minute. Put my hat on for the blues. Right, this is its first go, so I don't know if it's going to work. Could be totally an, an embarrassment. But what it does is, um, I'm in an open D tuning. Well, I think 
progress going to be quite a successful slide once I learn to play it properly right so that's uh, at least that was a success Um, thank you for joining me again. Um, take care of yourself. If you like my videos, please subscribe. It uh, really does help. And uh, one day, when I'm world famous, I'll let you have my autograph free. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye-bye for now.